Rarely does a professional athlete receive or exploit the opportunity to gracefully say farewell to a sport they have so dominated. But Gordon, at 43, will leave full-time NASCAR racing after 24 seasons at NASCAR's highest level. He was emphatic in January that if he ever raced again, the Daytona 500 would not be on his docket. So this final installment, for certain, will be a memorable one in Gordon's lengthy history. Gordon has won NASCAR's premier race three times, which is tied for third on the all-time list. A fourth would not kill Yarborough for second place. Richard Petty's seven all-time will certainly elude him if he keeps his promise. Gordon's first victory in 1997, at just 25 years old, made him the youngest ever to win the race at that time. Trevor Bain nabbed that record in 2011, when he won the race at 20 years and a day. All told, Gordon has won in 97, 95, and 2005, when he dove past Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the final stretches. Ray Evernham, who won three titles with Gordon as crew chief, credits him for changing the entire paradigm of the modern race car driver. And he's right. Gordon changed the sport at all levels, widening the eyes of future NASCAR stars on the West Coast and driving sprint cars in the Midwest. He changed the way the modern NASCAR driver is marketed, the way he projects himself. But most of all, he's won. 92 times in Sprint Cup and four championships, both of which are third on the all-time lists.